Whoa! Have we got a huge project today. Mike Phillips down here at Auto Geek Show Car Garage in sunny Stewart, Florida. And today I'm going to go over some tips and techniques for cleaning, polishing, and protecting every inch of your RV. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to pressure wash the roof. And you want to be careful because there's a lot of plastic components up there. And because they're exposed to the elements and the sun, they become brittle over time. So when you're using your pressure washer, you want to be careful with the hose so you don't break any of these things. So come with me and let's get busy. Anytime you're using a pressure washer, it's always a good idea to wear safety glasses. After you're finished pressure washing the roof, the next thing you want to do is the side. Now to do that, we're going to use the Pinnacle Foam Cannon HP with a pressure washer and the Detailers Pro Series Extreme Foam Formula. Watch this. Then, after you get the foam on the side of the RV, use a high quality brush. I'm using a boar's hair brush here. And then start lathering and washing the foam and loosening that dirt off so you can rinse it off. What that foam does is it helps to loosen all the dirt up so it'll wash off nice and easy. Get this thing really clean. After you're finished washing the RV, the next thing you want to do is you want to dry it off and get all the water off there. This will help you to avoid water spots. Now to do this, I'm going to use what's called a waffle weave drying towel. This is actually called the Guzzler. It's got these little built-in pockets. Stick your hands in here. It makes it really easy to get the water off. Plus, it's soft and gentle to the paint. Now that we've finished washing and drying the RV, I'm going to show you two ways to wax this thing. Now because of the size, a real popular way is to use what's called a one-step cleaner wax. For this, I'm going to show you how to use the Pinnacle 360. This will clean, polish, and protect, that means leave behind a wax coating in one step. And the good news is, you can use this in the sun. Now to do this, I'm going to use the Porter Cable Dual Action Polisher. This is a really easy tool to use and it takes all the elbow grease out of the process. Now, if you've got a really nice paint job on your RV and you want the ultimate show car finish, then you also have the option of doing a three-step process. Now, for this, instead of using a one-step that does everything in one step, you'd use a dedicated swirl remover, usually with the cutting pad like I have here, followed by a dedicated finishing polish with a polishing pad, and then, of course, a finishing wax with a really soft finishing pad. But to start with, I'm just going to show you how to do a one step process. Now, when you start out, you always want to shake your product up, and I've got a clean, dry pad here. So the first thing I want to do is I actually want to take, I'm going to put some product onto the pad and kind of pushing it into the pad. That way, when you turn the polisher on, you're not bringing a dry pad that's rotating right against the paint. So just spread that out with your finger. Wipe any excess off your finger. Okay, now these are variable speed tools. They start at zero and go to six. And for applying a one step cleaner wax, usually right around the five setting is pretty good. So let me go ahead and put that to the five. And don't ever turn this on until it's against the paint. Then turn it on. And you just want to make some slow overlapping passes like this. Turn it off, but don't lift this off until it's stopped rotating. And then allow that to dry to a haze. Then come back with the clean microfiber towel and wipe that off. And that's how fast and easy waxing your motorhome can be. 
the tool takes all the work out of it. Now for the ultimate show car finish, let me show you how to do a three step approach using Pinnacle Natural Brilliance. Now for this step, you're going to want to use a swirl remover and usually a cutting pad. These are the Lake Country CCS five and a half inch Lake Country pads and again they fit right on the backing plate of a Porter Cable 7424 XP. Very safe, very easy to use. Now anytime you start out with the dry pad, you want to go ahead and prime it. So shake your product up really well. We're starting out with the Pinnacle Advanced Swirl Remover and actually the paint on here has swirls. Somebody buffed this out with a rotary buffer and instilled swirls everywhere. So for a motorhome like this, this is actually a really good approach to really bring that paint back and make it look good. Okay, so I'm going to take and apply some to the pad and then taking my finger I'm going to take and work this in. And what the, this is called priming the pad. And what this is for is so when you turn the polisher on and you start polishing the paint, 100% of the face of the pad is going to work for you, removing swirls. And again, you don't want to turn it on until the face of the pad is actually in contact with the paint. Otherwise, you might throw a splatter everywhere. Then you have to stop what you're doing and then remove all the splatter. Now, for this, I'm going to buzz this up to the six setting. That'll really give me some power to remove these swirls. That would look like this. Then don't lift the pad off until it stops spinning. Now if you counted, I actually went over this section six times. This means I went up and down, back and forth, up and down. I did that six times. That's called a section pass. And that's usually how many times you have to work each section to actually remove the swirls. Now when you're done, you don't want to let this dry because it's not a wax. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off using a clean dry microfiber towel. And I always like to fold them four ways. It helps to spread out the pressure of my hand, gives me eight sides to wipe with. Now, when you're ready to move on to the polishing step, you want to take your foam cutting pad off, switch over to a softer, this is called a polishing pad. When you put this on, just try to center it up on the backing plate, just like that. I'm going to bump my speed down to the five setting. I don't need all that power because I'm not trying to remove the swirls. I've already removed the swirls. Now I'm trying to polish this to a really high gloss. Now for this we're going to use the Pinnacle Advanced Finishing Polish. And anytime the bottle's been sitting, you want to take and shake it because it's been sitting there. Shake it up really good. And again, I'm going to pour some product right onto the pad. I'm going to push it on my finger and this is called priming the pad. What this does is it ensures 100% of the pad is going to work for you polishing the paint as soon as you turn that polisher on. And you just take your finger, basically just kind of push that product around. And then as you continue polishing around the RV, you don't have to keep priming it every time. It's just the first time when you're starting out the clean dry pad. After that, you would just take and put like three pea sized drops onto the face of the pad. Now, I've turned it down to the five setting. Again, I'm going to wait till I have it in contact with the paint before I turn it on. And then I'm going to make four or five section passes to this one area. And this is going to polish that paint up to a really high gloss. Okay, and then don't turn this off until it stops spinning again. You don't want to throw splatter everywhere. You have to stop everything you're doing and start wiping the splatter off. Now, again, since this isn't a wax, you don't need to come down, you don't need to let this dry. You just want to wipe that off. Usually the sooner they wipe it off, the easier it'll be. And at this point, we have a clear, swirl-free, flawless finish, just like a show car. Now we're ready to actually put the wax on. So I'm going to take the polishing pad off, switch over to a really soft finishing pad. This is actually for applying wax or paint sealant. And again, I'm going to take and line this up with the backing plate. Do your best to get it squared up so it's centered. 
I'm going to turn my speed down to the four, okay, so I don't need a lot of power now. I'm not trying to remove swirls. I just want to take and spread out a nice thin coat of wax. Now for this, I'm going to use the Pinnacle Liquid Sovereign Carnuba Wax. This is real popular in the show car circuit, but you can use it on your RV too. Shake this up. I'm going to go ahead and apply some to the face of the pad. And you just want to put down a really thin coat, so don't use too much of this product. Spread it around with my finger, coat the entire face of the pad. Then again, don't turn it on until it's in contact with the paint. And now, this actually goes pretty quick because the first two steps, we were moving swirls, then we are polished to high gloss. Now we're actually just trying to put a nice thin coat down. Usually two or three passes is good enough. And again, don't lift the pad off till it stops spinning. Now, this is a wax you want to let dry to a light haze. And that's going to happen pretty fast out here. And then when you're done, come back again with a nice, clean microfiber towel folded four ways. That gives you eight wiping sides, helps to spread out the pressure of your hand, makes wiping off a breeze. Wipe that off. And there you have a show car finish on your RV. And it's that simple. And the really cool thing is when you work by machine, it just takes all the elbow grease, all the work out of the process. And then the next thing you do, just keep working around the RV, section by section by section. There you go. After you get the paint all shined up, the next thing you want to do is dress the tires. You want to restore a deep, dark black look. Now to do that, I'm going to use the Pinnacle Black Onyx Tire Gel. Now this uses super polymers that resist detergents, so they'll hold up to inclement weather and repeated washings. And what really helps is to get a tire swipe, like you see me have right here. Take and pour it on the swipe, kind of spread it on their finger, and then apply it to the tires. And this will restore a nice dark black finish. And for more gloss, simply put on a second coat. This will also keep the tires from turning brown, protecting them from fading and cracking. Just like that. After you get the paint all shined up, the tire's black again, the next thing you want to do is restore shine to your wheels. Now, aluminum wheels will oxidize, but let me show you the easy way to remove the oxidation and restore a brilliant shine. That's using the Lake Country Wool Polishing Balls. Now, these will fit into any standard drill, and then I'm using the Wolfgang Metalworks Polishing System. Now, this includes a heavy compound in case the aluminum's really bad, but I'm just using the polish, and then when you're done, you can take and put the Wolfgang Concours Metal Sealant on there, and this will help prevent oxidation from happening in the future. Simply take and stick the, pa the polishing ball down there in the polish, bring it up here, let the drill do all the work. Keep a microfiber towel handy. Come down, wipe that off to reveal a brilliant shine. Then you can put the metal sealant on there, and again, that'll help protect from oxidizing in the future. Now, for those hard to reach areas, you can get these little foam polishing pockets. Just take this. Stick it down in there, and this will help you to get into those tight, hard to reach areas, like around the lug nuts. And again, just take and work that real good, then wipe it off using a microfiber towel. And that's the easy way to remove oxidation and restore a brilliant shine to your aluminum wheels. Well, I hope these tips and techniques will help you the next time you detail your RV. Now that we got this thing all shined up, it's time to hit the road. I'm your host, Mike Phillips, and I'll see you on the next edition of Auto Geek Show Car Garage. Hey driver, it's time to hit the road.